IT. I just started watching last week tonight with John Oliver's Coronavirus 8. Sorry, I had to convert the Roman numerals in my mind. I had to count, basically. <laughs> Coronavirus number 8. Prisons, jails, last week tonight with John Oliver. Brought to you by HBO, apparently. Before I continue even watching the rest of that, I would like to weigh in. To the people in charge, it's quite simple. You all, not all of you, but a vast majority of you claim you're Christians. You claim to believe in giving people a second chance. <laughs> okay. It's time to cut the bullshit and put your money where your mouth is, literally. Release these people from prison. Erase everyone's permanent record. Give everyone on the fucking planet a clean slate. And for the next six months... Give everyone who has been released from prison or jail, who has been on food stamps or disability, or both, who has had their hours cut from work, give every one of these people $2,000 a month for a minimum of six months. Instead of investing in the corporations, everybody, invest in the common person. Put your money where your mouth is. And John Oliver, I'm quite certain that the rest of the video that I'm about to watch, the 18 minutes and 33 seconds of which you are about to be speaking, is quite entertaining and amusing and insightful. I'm quite certain of that, even before I even continue to watch the rest of your video. But, before I continue to enjoy your video, I have to say what I've already said. To pile drive it into the minds of the stupid sheeple masses. All of you Christians claim to give people a second chance. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Give everyone a clean fucking slate. Give everyone the means to prepare for the future. Okay? Put your money where your fucking mouth is. Then you can say that your religion is worth something to me. And keep in mind, I am the being whose past life you still call God. I am the being who is the primal force that created all of existence. I allow myself to enjoy the karma and drama of life, even this degradation of my physical form's teeth. I enjoy the karma and the drama of life. Why the fuck don't you? You all claim you're so superior. Now fucking prove it. Because you claim your superiority. Now I want your proof that you're superior. Okay. Now, I've given you the perfect thing of which to do for this kind of situation. Yes, I know exactly the implications that giving a lot of people money will degrade the so-called economy. But that's the thing. This so-called economy is based on a fallacy. For those of you who are in the know of the Greek, uh, Greek Roman, and not particularly sure of which. I don't keep very good track of it. The Greek Roman fallacy was a dick sculpture with wings on it. 
For those of you who are in the know of what the word fallacy means these days, it is quite simply a lie that you cling to because you want to feel better about yourself. Because you want to feel some semblance of safety and security. So you have the fallacy of money. I know that what I'm telling you to do will destroy the value that you fallacifically hold upon money. Because it is a fallacy. The real value should be in the life you have. The experience of living your life. That's not a philosophy. That's the fucking truth. And if you think that's philosophy. You're a fucking idiot. And you deserve to die. No. I'm not going to apologize for telling you the truth. If you think that what I'm telling you is a philosophy. Fucking kill yourself. You're a sad waste of an orgasm. That is better spent in the pleasure as opposed to creating the life that you have wasted. Now, I've said a lot of controversial things, but I don't give a fuck what you think about it because it's the truth. If you don't like the truth, please kill yourself and remove yourself from causing suffering being such as myself and everyone else in all of existence who wants to enjoy being alive for the simple pleasure of living life instead of being enslaved to a philosophical ideal of money and currency. Oh, till next time, fuck off. Ooh! Seven minutes out of the ten minutes that YouTube's algorithm loves to promote. Oh well. <laughs>